Hello and welcome to another episode of the Adobe Creative Suite podcast. Hey guys, I know this is kind of like Lightroom two weeks in a row, what's going on, but this is actually an important follow-up on last week's episode. Last week's episode dealt with how I use one collection and use the ability to do published collections or published services out to each of the photo sharing sites, such as Facebook, um, Flickr, and SmugMug. But I want those same photos from that collection to be published to each one without me having to think about it and, and drag them into each one. So I use Smart Collections for that. The one glaring omission was the service that many people are now using, which is Google+. Google+, Plus is very popular uh, for photographers, and um, I actually have more Google+, Plus um, followers now than I do on Twitter. So over 15,000 of you, thank you. But with that said, the question came up several times. Well, that's great for Flickr, Facebook, and SmugMug, but how do I get my photos from Lightroom directly to Google+. And actually, this is not a new thing. Uh, actually, one of my uh, photo walk walkers uh, a couple months ago, or actually about a month or two ago, told me about this uh, about the fact that Picasa, which is the back end to Google's photo services, is actually the back end to Google+. And, of course, there is a Picasa Lightroom plugin. It's just not from Adobe. It's by a guy named Jeffrey Friedel. So I have Jeffrey's website up here in the background, and it's Jeffrey Friedel's blog. Um, it's actually, his web address is right here, uh, regx.info slash blog, Lightroom dash goodies slash Picasa web. However, if you don't want to write that down or, or, or don't want to remember all that, just simply Google Picasa Lightroom. And that's how I found it. It came right up. And uh, even though I've used Jeffrey's plugins in the past, I just it was just easier to Google it than trying to remember his website. So uh, Google uh, Picasa Lightroom, and you'll find this plugin. Now, this plugin is, although it's uh, free to download and try, it is shareware. So after six weeks, uh, you'll start losing some of the functionality if you don't pay at least a penny for the plugin. So I'll be making my contribution for it because it's uh, very useful. So now let's see how it works. Let's switch over to Lightroom where I've got the plugin already installed and I've got here uh, my, my manual collection. So of my 24 most recent photos are you know, one from each shoot usually or two from each shoot. And it's uh, my recent photos that I would like to put on each of my photo sharing uh, social networking sites. So I've already done that in last week's episode for Facebook, for Flickr, and for SmugMug, but now here's the one for Picasa. So I've already set one up, um, and it's a smart collection. So the same 24 photos are in it at all times. Whenever I add a photo to the main one and remove a photo or delete a photo, it will automatically update all the others. All I have to do is click the Publish button. So let's create one. Let's create a new published server, service using the Picasa. I'm just going to call this one Recent Work 2 because I've already got the main one. It asks you to authenticate, so it wants you to be logged in on the web using your Google account. So I've already done that. Uh, export location, it needs to put the photo somewhere while it's making those JPEGs until they're uploaded, so I just leave that as the default temporary location. If you want to do any renaming of photos, you can do that here. I normally... Uh, use JPEG sRGB. I don't limit the size here, but I do limit the width and height. I make those 1024 by 1024 and don't enlarge if it's smaller than that. I also use my own custom watermark and here's where I want it to create that new album. So public album named recent work two, but here's the kit catch. I want it to be a smart collection. So I'm going to go ahead and click create and it will go ahead and create that smart collection and check it here. So if you want to use one of your existing uh, albums, you can do that. It's listing all my existing albums already on Picasa slash Google+. And I want it to delete the photos that I delete, automatically delete them from the site. I want it to use the Lightroom keywords. I want it to uh, put my copyright information in. You can even have it tweet the fact that you've uploaded new photos if you sign into your Twitter account. And also you can have it uh, automatically download any comments that were left on your photos. So all I have to do now is click save. And what's gonna happen next is I'm gonna get an alert 
that it says, hey, the requested smart collection has been created with dummy criteria. Go change it basically to what it should be because it doesn't know what you want. And now all I have to do is here's my recent work. Um, actually, here's my new recent work too, which has zero photos in it. I'm just going to right click on that and say edit smart album. And then all I have to do is tell it that I want the actual collection to be the one that contains the word recent. That's from my manual collection. So when I click save, it's already built my 24 same photos. So if I go make a change to the manual collection, my Flickr, my Facebook, my Smug Mug, and now my Picasso slash Google Plus galleries or uh, collections will be updated as well. All I'd have to do now is click the publish button and it will upload those 24 photos to uh, Google Plus slash Picasso. Um, if I make a change, change, edit, edit the photos, do any developing, uh, add photos, remove photos, all I have to do is click the publish button again. It will add the new photos, delete the old ones, and that's how it works. So there is a way for Lightroom to talk directly to Google Plus. You just do it through Picasso, which is what your Google Plus albums are in anyway. Now, there is one downside to this. The plugin will upload the photos, but it doesn't announce them. In other words, you'll have your album, your photos will be there, but it will not create a new entry on your wall uh, that says, hey, you've uploaded three new photos. So that you will have to go do on your own. But that's it. That's how we upload our photos from Lightroom to Google+. Hope you enjoyed this episode of the Adobe Creative Suite podcast. My name is Terry White. Thanks for watching.